Good morning. Welcome to the famous St. Lawrence Market. Joining me now, Bruce Bell, historian and tour guide here at the market. How are you? I'm very fine. Thank you so much. Tell me a little bit about the history behind this marvelous market. You know, this is where Toronto was founded on this very site, right where we are. And behind us is the old City Hall of Toronto. That was built first in 1844, built right on the water. And then when they built a bigger City Hall, they needed a bigger market. So they added this great market on to the back of the City Hall, which they kept, which is so unusual. Surprisingly. For Toronto, who likes to tear everything down. So this is the uh, second most popular tourist destination in the city next to the CN next Tower? Next to the CN Tower is St. Lawrence Market. Over a million visitors come here a year, plus the, the locals that shop here. I mean, it's it's a remarkable market. There's foods from all over the world. It's on uh, two levels. There's a farmer's market across the street. There's an outdoor market just on the other side of the street. So I mean, this everything that you need is in one market. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, though, that uh, such a popular tourist destination would be a market. Do you think it's because of all of the different varying vendors? Oh, for sure. And it's also a lot of this food you can take out with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot of takeout food. There's two levels here. Downstairs where all the sandwiches are made and you get hot dogs and, you know, turkey breasts and Chinese takeout, <laughs> Japanese takeout. I mean, there's something for everybody mm -hmm. in this market. And you come back here at lunchtime and you will see the thousands and thousands of people that are flooding out from the downtown financial core that come to this market for lunch. Right. You mentioned that it's actually quite unusual that the market is as calm and sedate yes. as, as it is right now. I mean, this is morning, you know, and uh, you see there's a lot of students around. They do a lot of, a lot of history tours are done here. They do a lot of, uh, a lot of the schools will come here to learn about the history of our city because this is where it started, right here, right here. At Carousel Bakery is the uh, what I think is the real heart of the market. This has what you're about to have will be the most delicious sandwich that you have ever tasted. This is where you get your famous uh, pea meal bacon sandwich. Bacon on a bun. Would you Can like we have it? two sandwiches, please? <laughs> yes, I would love that. Uh, thank you, Joanne. Thank you very, thank you very much. much. All right, Bruce. Before we go, I've got to ask you. National Geographic. Oh, yes. Tell me about the distinguished award that St. Lawrence Market just announced. National Geographic picked St. Lawrence Market as the best food market in the world. They went around the world, they picked the top 25, and they picked us as the number one market in the world because of its diversity, that there is there's something for everybody here from all over the world, from different nationalities. Plus, it has a very local, good local culture with the farmer's market across the street. 80% of the food that's sold here at St. Lawrence Market is from Ontario, which is exactly what you're going to be eating. All right, we should open up the bacon on the bun. Oh. And tell me a little bit about, before I let you bite into yes. Bruce, Old Town Toronto. St. Lawrence Market is right in the center of what we call Old Town, mm -hmm. Old Town Toronto, where Toronto was founded. And there's still quite a few old businesses and old buildings that have been here for the last 200 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, that are a lot of the great hotels, the old hotels, like the King Edward Hotel, St. James Cathedral is in Old Town Toronto. And it was a, an area that was discarded, you know, uh, even 30 years ago, but they've started to rebuild it and fix up a lot of those old buildings. And now it's become, with the market, the, a, a great tourist attraction. Okay, so great places to stay, excellent restaurants to eat at, markets to visit when you come here to Toronto. You can head to the Tourism Toronto website to look at all of the different hotel packages and show tickets. Shall we take a bite into the oh, yes. email bacon? Oh, I can't okay. wait. Ah. When you're booking your next family trip, why not come on down? Check out the St. Lawrence Market in Toronto.